Some businesses and services all across the country took the day off. It's part of the national strike, a day without immigrants. The movement against President Donald Trump's immigration policies made its way to the east as well. WNCT Zora Stevenson joins us at one of the participating stores. Zora. Locked doors, dim lights, a sign that translates to close to our community, a hashtag that reads a day without immigrants. I was just wondering why the um, Hispanic stores were closed today. This sign provides explanation. Thursday is what some call a day without immigrants. With no Mexicans, the United States is nothing. That's exactly why you'll see empty parking lots at the Hispanic supermarket. If you want tortas or tacos, it won't be at this Hispanic-owned store. It's all to protest President Donald Trump and his administration's policies. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias. On most days, this is WZUP, the Hispanic radio station out of Farmville. Está bien parada. Except today, the mic is off. And nobody is working here, nobody is in the building. I just come uh, here you to, to see you. I just come here to see you, you know. You'll hear music on 104.7, but no disc jockeys or commentary. My boss man is Hispanic, so he said we all ain't working today. This HVAC worker took the day off as well. He says the goal is to disrupt things. It, it will, and, and we hope it does. We hope it does so other people can appreciate the work we do and um, appreciate others most more than anything. Tello says he wants people to realize what the U.S. would be without the radio host or the business owner, the HVAC worker. <laughs> it's working. It is. What was a confused and frankly frustrated couple now wants to chime in on the matter. Stand up for yourself. Stand up. Now don't get me wrong, not every business was closed. It's fresh every day. Anita just happens to show her support in the form of a tortilla. My people, they need to eat, and I need to come and cook it for them. <laughs> we featured Hispanic businesses because that's who's participating in our area. Immigrants from all over the world are taking part in this movement. Now, Pitt County Schools reports over 500 Hispanic students did not show up to school today. Live in Greenville, Zora Stevenson, not on your side. Zora, thank you. They understood it right